I need to have fish in the water to make a living. I absolutely have to have fish in the water, not just this year, but next year and 10 years down the road. I think federal law right now ensures that that's the case. And if we lose that, that part of federal law, guys like me aren't gonna survive. No regulation will mean the fish stocks will drop dramatically. We have to be governed. There's guys out there that would kill every last fish in the ocean if you gave them the chance. And that's, that's one of the reasons to have this management. You have to have this. I mean, yeah, I would love just to be turned loose and just go out there and catch all I can catch again. But in the long run, it's just not going to work. What am I going to do when the boat sits for a couple of years because there's nothing to catch anymore? It's like money management. You manage your fish so that you have a principal stock that you can, let's say, make interest off of. Your principal grows, and while your principal's growing and you're tapping into that, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger, and then you have a new fishery. Well, we've done a really good job in the last 20 years of managing our fisheries. And we've been able to fish sustainably and provide protein to the masses uh, you know, without crashing everything. And I think that's exclusively because of the Magnuson Act. Those regulations had to come into play. They had to. Otherwise, we wouldn't have a rockfish to catch at this point in our life. And yeah, I, I really believe that the regulations, as painful as they were in the beginning, have gotten a lot better and has actually recovered the fishery to where now it's ready to open up and become a, a, a good fishery again. There's more summer flounder around, there's more bluefish, black sea bass, you almost can't stay away from them. That's the sort of rebuilding that helps like small businesses like mine, that helps families that take their kids out on the weekends. And I think that's the most compelling argument in the world. Unfortunately, uh, I don't think Congress hears it a whole lot. In my opinion, the Florida Keys and Key West is the best fishery on the planet. It's got a lot to do with the regulation. The United States MSA is the reason we have the fishing that we have down here in the Florida Keys. Simple as that. Even though it's not a perfect setup, this will hold this fishery in for our lives and our grandkids' lives. If we just turn it loose, it'll just go back in disaster again. I think we really have to think about our kids when we make these decisions. It's a trade-off. It's short-term economic gain versus future abundance and future economic sustainability and, and you know, uh, biological sustainability and, and, and having our families, having our kids grow up with the same opportunities that we did. We can go on like this forever. We're in harmony with nature. We're producing as much as we're taking. And frankly, I think there's more fish now. And that, I think, is because of the MSA. Thank you.